Well, hello, YouTubers. Getting ready to put my gas fire together. And I thought I'd take a couple of shots and show what I've done. Kind of taking some other ideas out on off of YouTube and the FEMA design. This is a downdraft. This is the reactor. Kind of show you what I've done. Kind of took off on my own and did my own little thing here, but what I've got stove pipe, stainless steel, and I've put some air tubes down through the through a lid of a 60 gallon barrel and they come through on the sides there's three of them and then on the bottom I got a stainless steel bowl right here and I brazed used brass brazing rod and brazed this together I also brazed the seam of the stainless steel pipe stove pipe this is a stainless steel bowl that I've drilled a bunch of holes in and suspended with a chain right off of I can unhook it here and adjust the height by the length on those little hooks you can see and the biggest hole there's about three quarters of an inch on the sides then I go down to half inch three-eighths and quarter and then for my shaker, I want to go around on top of my air intake. I've got some air adjustment. I just got a bolt and welded it down inside, nut and flat washers, so I can adjust that on all three of these. And to seal the top, I got a piece of Tigon fuel line, split it down the center lengthways and then filled it full of the red RTV silicone pressed it on there and then for the lid I got some lock washers one over well that's uh, where I hook the spring but there's lock washers to hold the lid come up and over and then this one hooks down on the, the other one I'll leave that off for just a minute So for the shaker, it's kind of dark, hope it turns out. Let me grab a light real quick. Let's see if this helps. So for the shaker, I got a piece of all thread and run it through the top, through a nut and another nut and a coupling nut tightened together so that they lock that all thread runs all the way down the side and then another nut I weld it onto the air intake tube and it comes down and there's the shaker arm if you take and twist it and then this tube here will actually hit the side here to help knock them coals down when they try to bridge. Hook this w wire through the the grate to pull it away because I've had problems in the past of the charcoal building up here and when I tap the grate it sticks over and the grate sticks. So I put this this on so it will pull it back so I can I can put some pressure on it and make it move. So down in the inside of the reactor I've tried a couple of things. So right there I've got a piece of two and a half inch tube and there's the air intakes those three and they're five sixteenths ID jetted down to five sixteenths. So I had that two and a half inch tube in there and I had a lot of bridging and I've tried smaller chunks of wood and it still seemed to bridge so this time I've got that tube right there cut out I'm gonna take it out and do away with it for this run 
I can weld it back in later if it, this doesn't work, but let me grab that. So that's what was in there. And that's what I got now. Focus. So that's two and a half inch hole down there in the bottom. And the jets, and they're about oh eight inches high right now. On this tube that I just pulled out, and them jets were just barely above it. So the air would be injected down in through the top there. Anyway, I got this glass lid here from a secondhand store. So I could look down through the top, which I don't recommend you do. I've had a couple of puff puffs go and it's pretty scary. You get all them hot embers, but you can see all the smoke build up and all that stuff. Carbon choke cleaner. Takes that stuff right off. A little spray and get running out. But it makes it so you can look down in there and see what's going on. That's how I knew I was bridging. Because I could look down in and and see the see the bridging taking place. And that's when I get the puff backs is you get the bridging and then when it drops it gets a surge of oxygen or air and then it kind of puffs back out of the out of the system. At least that's what I'm finding. So I'll put this all together. I think I've shown you everything here. Oh, on this lid here I've cut the, the tabs off that hook on the barrel and I'll show you the barrel here when I get putting it together and show you my setup. So I cut those tabs off because I had some uh, of that wood stove door rope tucked up in there to seal that and I found that leaks really bad. It, it doesn't seal very good. So I put some of that red RTV uh, silicone in there and let it set up it made a nice smooth gasket and then I fabricated a bunch of these clamps out of some angle iron a uh, quarter inch bolt and a wing nut little tube and what that does I'll show you when I get it put together but that hooks over the you know, strike that strike it again that hooks over the top and this bottom piece will grab the lip of the barrel and you just tighten it up and it pulls it pulls it down makes a pretty good tight clamp all right I'll get this put together and I'll pause it out here and I'll get back to you in a second 